Hello everyone, Boomhauer69 here, and today Boomhauer is going to do the video about the comprehensive survival kit. This was a kit I bought on Amazon.com, and in today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing video, and I'm going to talk about the contents inside this survival kit, and give my thoughts and opinion on it. Hope you enjoyed the video, so let's get right to it. So yeah, this is the comprehensive survival kit. Yeah, um, content, com, comprehensive survival kit. Uh, apparently there must be three different kinds I had at one time. Now according to the Amazon link here, um, according to Amazon it was um, 40, 47, then 99 47.99 for this and then with tax it was roughly around $50 there's around $50 there's total with tax but again it's a comprehensive survival kit let's do it and open it up let's see what you get inside the box here's what the outside of the box looks like and the brand Nothing fancy. Box kind of reminds me a little bit like a shoe box almost, but the thing that kind of surprised me when I first got this was actually I didn't realize it was this small of a survival kit per se. I, I knew it wasn't going to be the greatest survival kit because again, it's only $50. You're not going to get high end quality stuff for, for around the price that they're selling this for. Because if you want good quality, like survival kits and stuff, you're going to have to spend probably close to three to $500. But I was curious to see what's on in this kit. That's why I bought it. To do a video about it and see what's on in it. And, and maybe talk about what I would add, take out, whatever. Add, add or take out or leave, you know, but... So let's open it up here. It says right here on the box, um, some reading uh, in there. It says, our con comprehensive emergency survival kit is perfect for any emergency situation. Ideal for tactical, medics, military, police, firefighters, EMT, hunters, first responders, hikers, campers, outdoor enthusiasts, and more. Perfect for the car, boat, bike, motorcycle, home, workplace, travel, shooting, hunting, camping, hiking, fishing, boating, cycling, backpacking, climbing, mountain biking, outdoor sports, wilderness, and adventure, wilderness adventurers, etc., etc. Also suited for natural disasters, survival, emergencies such as earthquake, Hurricanes, tornadoes, and floods, and fires. Only fifty dollars, so the contents of this is not going to be of um, super high quality. It's going to be kind of, I guess, say mediocre quality or or just straight up poop quality, crappy quality. So without further ado, let's open up the box here. See what we got. First we got, here I'll set this off to the side, first we got a rain poncho, so adult size, one size fits all rain poncho here, it's a one size fits all turbo vinyl waterproof rain poncho, clearly you can tell it's one of those rain ponchos that you can get basically for 99 cents at any, any store, any white Walmart or anything, so. I have 99 cents rain poncho. Then also, because here's what it looks like with everything inside. Side, when it comes in the box, there's what everything looks like inside. So, yeah, the rain poncho again, a 99 cents item. Here's one of those um, Ranger, uh, one of those um, paracord straps. Looks like it's got a whistle on the side of it and a little compass. This there. But yeah, this is one of those um 
paracord straps that you strap it to your wrist and you have some footage some paracord and you can unravel it and use it to build your shelter or whatever and the little button compass there that's yeah that's reading right because I'm facing south behind me is north east west so yeah that's compass is working I don't know how good the whistle is I'm not gonna try it I'm not gonna open it but here we got um, a bandage triangular one of those arm bands for when you're got to put your arm in a sling that's actually hand, handy if you've broken your arm and you got to put your arm in a certain position that definitely will come in handy now when it comes to bushcrafting survival and first aid I know a little bit about bushcrafting and survival a little bit and I'm not an exact professional. Now, when it comes to first aid, I don't know a whole lot about first aid. All I know how to do is apply a band-aid on a cut, and that's that's about as far as I go when it comes to first aid. Here's an actual little first aid kit. We'll open it up, see what's inside. Looks like here, uh, PBT, PBT bandage. There's one of those. There's um two of those PPT bandages. You get um well you get a nice little pack of cotton swabs. Those are always handy for um different things. Let's see what we got here. You got some small roll of medical tape. Some scissors here. These are those more like scissors, cheap scissors here for cutting your bandages when you need to cut your gauze and stuff. Those are kind of handy. I can tell right off the bat they're uh, the cheaper quality where they would break pretty easily. So you want to be careful with those. But we have here some safety pins some safety pins there those are definitely um handy to have especially when you gotta um clip up your the bandage you know when you're using the gauze and and safety pins to um hold your bandage in place that's really good then a bunch of let's see here different types of so bandages here you got um band-aid adhesive strip band-aids like those kind of what they call butterfly bandages I call them butterflies because they look like a butterfly there's some other types of different types of little bandages there oh they give you quite a bit of Bandages there Quite a bit of those kind of bandages you get about So yeah, when it comes to band-aids, band -aid, I say they give you a pretty good supply of bandages Some alcohol pads here you get two four And this four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. So about ten of those. Propylene idling pads for extreme use only. Always when you're doing first aid, always read the instruction of how to use stuff. But ibuprofen pads, you get two, four. Six, eight, and ten of those. And also get one of these small straps. I think that's one of these small blue straps. I forget what they call those. That's one of those like big old rubber band straps where you, um, if you gotta like tie something up, tighten up. 
the doctors used to, I think, used to, used to, used to use those to, you know, when they gotta give you a shot or something. I forget what they actually call them. Non-woven pads, you get two of those. So when it comes to the first aid stuff, I, I say it's okay. There, it's kind of okay. And then you get some tweezers here, some nice, well, plastic blue tree. Instead of these kind of tweezers, I wish they would have put a pair of like metal tweezers in there. That would have been a lot better. But yeah. Now for here, they give you one of these little hand squeezy flashlights. I actually been in the meeting. You can get these fairly cheap off on Amazon for about twelve to ten dollars. You know they're not that much, but one of those little hand squeezy. See if we can open it up here and see if it'll work. But yeah, I bought more than these before at the dollar store and did a, I think a video, yep. Seems to work all right. All you do with these types of flashlights is they have a little button there and you just go like that to recharge it. But yeah, that's how you recharge it and then, that's a while. These are quite handy for a power outage. They're not the brightest flashlight or the greatest flashlight out there but they're one of those better than nothing flashlights you know well at least help you see a little bit in the dark but yeah and it's just your standard I call it dollar store special so it's not going to be the greatest flashlight out there I call it your dollar store special and then you can lock the handle but yeah it's just one of those you quick get a bunch of times to recharge it and then the little battery will recharge and and then once it's recharged then you have some light to see you know not the greatest small flashlight out there but again of the cheap quality again it's only cost me $50 this whole kit so but and then here we got another flashlight here oh a little lantern camp camping lamp Let's open that up and see what this is all about. Camping lamp. Let's see here. Oh. Must be needs batteries. Open that up and see. Yep. Oh yeah, it's just one of those little lantern batteries. Really lights. And those nice little lanterns and you just pop it open like that and you can hang it you can hang that on a tree or whatever and use it as a lantern or you can just use it simply as a flashlight and there's a little on and off button but yeah there's what that is and the build quality of that I don't think it's going to be too too bad you can tell it's kind of cheaper quality what I would do is any any um flashlight in a survival kit that requires like batteries like AAs or triple A's, what I would suggest doing is getting a um a little solar solar power bank or power station and 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 simply what I would do is figure a way to off without using electricity have some rechargeable batteries what I thought about doing would, would, what I would recommend doing is get some some rechargeable triple A batteries or AA batteries for your flashlight some rechargeable batteries get one of those little solar power banks and then one of those USB um, chargers for recharging AAs or triple A batteries and then hooking that up to our some sort of solar panel and stuff to help with um to recharge in on emergency situations so that way if you need to in dark this is one of those emergency rescue blanket it's a size 130 by 21 centimeters destroy after use for single use reduce shock keep patients warm dry 
Queen helps against hypothermia, simply wrap around your total body, the leaving face uncovered. Simply, it's all it is is a reflective blanket yeah, that you wrap around your body to keep the body heat. And what happens is your body heat will bounce onto the reflective blanket and then bounce back to keep you warm. And then right here, we got this little thing here. This might be a compass. Here's some, oh, that's little directions here, a little booklet. The Talker Survival Emergency Kit. This is a little manual, tells you all about what's kind of in the kit here. One of the things, it says, um, Five in one folding pliers, emergency shelter, four in one camping utensils, first aid, how to use the four in one camping utensils, and the talks about the first aid kit and all that stuff. And then packaging list, the compass and everything. But yeah. Then let's see here, this must be the compass, open that up here. Yep. And that's another little compass, so with the, um, on the, um, the wrist bracelet here, the paracord bracelet, and this, you have two compasses. Let's see. See what it's reading. So it has one of these. So yeah, it's it's reading right. Because again, north is behind me, south is that way, east, west. So yeah, that's reading correctly. Now let's see here. Now here we got a little ferro rod and striker. A little small ferro seam rod for your striker. And the little blade, all you do is you just simply just start a fire. You take the little striker pad, scrub some of the paint off and you strike it and it will produce sparks to help get your fire tinder going. That's always useful to have in a survival situation, emergency situation. It's a way to start fire, so so you can way to start a fire to keep warm and to cook food and stuff. So that's good they have something like that in here, a little that little rod. Now, so far I'm gonna say if you get quite a bit of stuff for fifty bucks. But here's one of those Oh, I know what this is. Little multi-tool thingies here. It has the little card that basically tells you what it, what it is. This multi-tool, you got can opener, it says here. Can opener, knife, edge, screwdriver, ruler, bottle opener, four position wrench, four various nuts, bolts, heads, butterfly wrench, saw blade, Directional are to re indicated two pieces of rent, lantern, key whore, ring, and it says right there labeled what all is what. These little things here, they're just a gimmick. I look at it, nothing I would ever use. They're just, they're a joke thing that I don't even, be honest with you, I don't even know why people, why companies throw these in. I don't find them useful or handy. They're just, to me, they're just silly. Now, here's a little, the little fishing kit here. You get your basic little, little lure there, worm, so you can try to catch some fish. So that's always useful to have. It's a little fishing kit, so you can try to catch some fish or whatever to cook up and eat. You can also use these hooks as well for trying to catch other things besides fish, you know, if you're into eating squirrels and stuff. Now here's a nice little whistle here. So on the wristband band bracelet, 
pair of cord brakes will let you you have a whistle and then you also get another whistle so you have two whistles which I actually like this because I've been meaning to get a, another whistle for a uh, survival kit I had already built so yeah that's good to have that and then right here is one of those wired saws and now these wire saws what you do is you, you find your two sticks about the same size of these cut like key ring holes and you stick two sticks in there and you go back and forth like this kind of motion to simply cut down your tree branch these wire saws are not very good if you don't know how to use one you're going to struggle with um trying to chop down a branch and produce firewood i instead of one of these i would recommend having like a silky pocket saw instead of one of these but these are kind of a gimmick but you can if you work at it you can cut down some 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 logs and make a little bit of fire here now with this wire saw are you going to be able to chop down a tree and build your log cabin out in the wilderness probably not but you may be able to pr produce some some firewood with it, you know, make you some firewood. Now here we got a couple of carbiners. Now what I like about these little carbiners is these are the kind that got the little threaded nut on there so it will lock in place and you don't gotta worry about it coming undone when you have something on it. Now these little carbiners there's better quality out there, these, but these in the pinch will come in handy for certain things. It's got to clip certain stuff, and you don't and stuff and see if it. Oh, yeah, it's not the bestest quality there. Yeah, you can tell it's of the cheaper variety, but would I trust these little carbiners? Probably not, maybe for some light duty things that if these carbiners did break I and, and you wasn't too worried about losing, seeing whatever was on them, you know, it wasn't a very, very important item, then I'd say they'd be alright, but I wouldn't put a whole lot of faith in, in these more cheap carbiners I'd probably if it was me I'd probably just discard these and get some better quality ones but yeah but they'd still be handy for kind of light duty stuff now here we have a hatchet I've actually been needing a hatchet but now for fifty dollars you're not going to get the best quality hatchet you're not going to get some grand force what are they call grand force or some fancy high-end one, you know, you're going to get one of the cheaper quality here, we'll take it out of the packaging and see what it, ah, it's a little shirt, you also got a little pick there, and then you got <laughs> one of those little <laughs> wrenches that are this is supposed to be one of the little wrenches and then a little hole for whatever, but little wrench, but. Yeah, I probably wouldn't trust this hatch to well. It feels like it's kind of got like an okay grip now. Again, I know professional tree chopper, wood splitter guy, but. This tool right here, I won't even put a whole lot of faith too much into it, but it's a little sharp, but definitely looks like it might need a need a little bit more of a sharpening. Now the hatchet sleeve here, the protective case, that don't look too bad. And you know, it's a basic little protective sleeve case. It's not going to be the greatest thing in the world, but... But yeah, it will do. Wouldn't put a whole lot of faith into this hatchet trying to chop with it, you know. You might get away with maybe using it now if it's now if it's something that 
you know, you're out in the wilderness and it's all you got, then and I say, yeah, go ahead and use it, but if you can, I would suggest getting getting something a little bit more better quality, but I don't I feel too bad, you know. I might put it to the test later on sometime. See what we got here in these little boxes. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ah, the silverware set. Now these are a funny little camping cookware set. And there's instruction booklets that tell you how to use the cookware. Let's quick see here. There you go, but yep, that's how you, so you have a, you got a knife, a spoon, so yeah, there's your cookware set, I've been meaning to get one of these, and so now I got one, don't gotta worry about buying one, because I've been kind of wanting one of these little things. See if I can get it back here or not. Again, not gonna be the greatest. There's better quality ones out there, but but in a pinch, this will do. I've been meaning to get one of these little kits and stuff for um one of these little um silverware sets, because I always wanted one just to kind of try out in the ass, but oh no, I'd say that's not too bad. I I think it's Pretty good quality. It's not it's not super high end quality, but it's definitely not not bad as far as I'd say. Now let's see what this one is. This is the knife. Got a nice Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah, you can tell the knife is, feels like it's just typical hard plastic, nothing fancy, see. Yeah, you got both, you can open up, has the thumb where you can do it this way, or simply this way, yeah. Yeah, it's already loose and flimsy, so, yeah. Definitely gonna need some tightening done. But yeah, you can tell that's super cheap. All that, look at all that wiggle room there. Yeah, definitely a super cheap crap knife. <laughs> so, I would definitely replace this knife with something 10 times better. What I would do is I would simply throw this knife in the garbage and then get like a nice good one, like maybe one of those, maybe like some sort of, maybe like a, oh, uh, well, I forget what they call it, uh, get one of those nice um, folding buck knives or something of better quality. The um, M-Tech that I did a video about would be better than that. Okay, a couple glow sticks, nothing fancy there. They always put glow sticks in, in these kits, you know. They're handy for when you need to see lights and stuff, nothing fancy. Bobby, what I would do is, I'm not much of a fan of glow sticks per se. What I'd probably do with these is just give them to some, somebody, give them to a friend of mine that has children and let their kids play with it. Cause I understand why they put glow sticks in. I, I understand they are kind of handy, but to me, I'm, I'd rather any day have a flashlight than glow sticks, but you know, they are handy because you know, you just break them and then they light, but once you break them and, and, and they start illuminating, then they start going out after a while, so. 
Some people would say on a glow stick, well, yeah, but if your batteries are dead in your flashlight and stuff, well, that's why I recommend rechargeable, rechargeable, recommend getting rechargeable batteries and then having a way in your survival kit to recharge those batteries so your flashlights will always have batteries. That's why I say get one of those USB battery charger your devices that allows you to recharge um AA, triple A's, you know, whatever batteries your flashlight take, get rechargeable batteries, get one of those USB battery chargers, and then I would what I would do is hook it up to like a a solar uh a, a foldable solar or panel that you can just plug in that has USB on it, one of those USB solar panels, and plug into that to charge up instead of going with glow sticks and stuff. Here's some cordage here. Looks like they give you a nice little shoestring though. To me, this cordage is, to me, is what you find on your typical shoestring, you know, your typical shoes. Nothing fancy there. What I would do is replace that and get some nice 550 paracord and so I'll we'll put that over there and here's a little clip of some sort I forget what they call these types of clips but I know those are handy for clamping things to, onto your your backpack and stuff ooh we got some little gloves here when they fit my hand let's find out these are oh these are those ones with the little Little dot rubber grippers on them. See if they fit my hand here. Oh, they seem to fit all right. Not too bad. Oh, in a pinch, what I would these might do, but I can see these being they're pretty thin, flimsy. I they look like something that they look like they're paper thin, where you can almost see my and see the skin on my hand so what I would recommend doing probably with these is is upgrading to um some maybe a little bit more better gloves than these but but all in all they're they're not they don't look too bad they look like they would work in a pinch now here's something kind of interesting the emergency who looks like we got some like goo bluey stuff on there, but anyways, this is an emergency shelter ideal for hikers or running in remote areas. One of those little shelters, you have some quarters there too. So, what I would do is you, if I was going to use one of these, I would make sure to have some 550 paracord, get rid of that, and, and use the now this emergency shelter is one of those, it's meant to be used for only a temporary emergency situation. These are not designed to be to be taken into every weekend going camping. You don't use these kind of tents as your your main source of of camping tent. This is only for emergency use. Only these Mylar tents are for to use maybe one or two times and then after you're you're done you just simply throw it in the trash and call it a day. These are not meant to take with you every weekend when you want to go camping because no they're not designed for that. They're only designed to be used in that one to two times emergency situation where this is all you got to shelter yourself from the elements. Again, like the Mylar blanket, you get inside here, your body heat will bounce off the walls and simply way the body heat will bounce off the walls and bounce back onto you, keeping you warm and stuff. These work good for sheltering you from rain, snow, and keeping you, you dry in that emergency situation. A lot of people do not recommend men these. One thing you can do with these, I've seen it done before, is some people will even cut these open to make a big square tart and use them into building a shelter. What I would do is, is with this, is I would 
probably swap this out for a regular like Arcturus survival blanket shelter and instead and and go from there because an Arcturus survival blanket shelter you can use more times than this but I would have I would also so have an Arcturus survival blanket and then tarp blanket and also this too. I probably went in a survival emergency situation. If I had the Arcturus blanket, I'd use that more than I would actually use this. But, but in a pinch, these do do the job. If you if this is all you got, hey, better than nothing. But here's some a strut. Oh, let's see here. Ah. Ooh, this is the mini multi tool plastic disposable gloves. Oh, those are good little sanitary gloves to use. Strong, sanitary, watertight, commercial resistance. And those are nice. Here's some little multi tool here. Now, of course, this ain't going to be no Leatherman's. I'll tell you that right now because if they added a good Leatherman's in here, it would be good. Spring loaded. Yeah, for a little handy, basic little, little um, multi tool. I say it's pretty nice. You got, let's see what I can get this up here. You have a little file on there, and you know, your typical. Looks like you got like a little opener there. Yeah. Looks like you got the most basic. Things like on a typical, got a little knife there, another little like bottle opener, I got a little Phillips screwdriver there, we got a little mini saw blade there, like, but, oh no, I say for a little mini, mini pliers there, little mini pliers there, I don't, they're not too bad. A little multi tool there. I don't think that's too bad. I think that's nice. You can tell it's cheaply made, but or you know, for light duty stuff, it 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 would probably get the job done. You know, I wouldn't put a whole lot of heavy use on it. If in reality, what would be better than this is getting a straight up Leatherman's multi tool and replacing it with a like Leatherman if you're gonna make this kit, you know, more of a better survival kit. Here's one of those pens with a, um, one of those pens there. This is one of those pens, window breaker type things there. It's got a little point on the window breaker. And then this right here is what they call a a bellow. This is one of those, if I can get it out of the packaging. Oh, I see it's sealed in the packaging. But what you do is, this is one of those bellows. You, ex, you extend it out and then you can blow through the tube to um, help get your fire going. You just simply blow on it. You blow through the tube and it helps you get your um, fire starter to um, blow on your embers to get it, your fire started. That's all it is to help you get air and oxygen into the fire to help build up the flame. So let's say you got a little fire going, a little mini ember and you're trying to get some big logs going. You extend this, this out and you, then you can blow on it and it will shoot the air in one direction to get the fire going. And last but not least, here is the actual backpack itself. Now when I got this kit, I was kind of surprised how how small it came in the box. In the box, how small the box was, but there's the actual little backpack here you get. Mm -hmm. I'm actually kind of shocked at how small this backpack is. I thought the backpack would be a little, I thought it'd be a little. What I originally thought was I thought this kit would just come in the backpack 
already thrown in the backpack and I didn't realize that the backpack was actually going to be this small. To be honest with you, I didn't realize the size that it was that size. But all in all, my initial thoughts on this kit, from what I see, it's not a bad little kit. Was a a few minor upgrades. I could, I would say this is not a bad kit after all. You know, it's got the typical first aid. Now, some of the things. I would add to this like for example this hatchet here I'd probably just take that out and then go get a wiggler better like maybe like a grand force hatchet or something or I get something a little bit better I know um Harper Freight has a hatchet that's pretty good and so I'd probably get a better quality hatchet a little multi-tool here, little multi-tool players set. Now, if you're going to do kind of like very light duty stuff, that'd be all right. But if I was going to make this kit into a big, like high-end kit, if I was going to make this a better quality kit, I would swap this out for a nice Leatherman. This little folding flip knife I would ditch that and get something way better which matter of fact I have something ten times better that I'll throw in in here that is better again I'd get something way better than this little crap folding knife and and what I would do is is look at something better maybe like what I'd almost do is take this out discard it and go get one of those um Mora more back in more knives one of those fit blade more knives and trade that and swap that out for a nice mora mora or another thing i just got to think of either swap this out for a victoria knox knox is what i'd almost do but now these pen window breaker thingies i think those are just a gimmick joke like i don't even think you could actually break a window with this but I do like the idea of the pen. To me, what they should have done was just added simply a a regular standard pen instead of one of these little tactical window breaker things. But all in all, from my initial thoughts on this kit, it's the stuff is not of super high quality. Again, it was only fifty dollars, but I, I think I kind of I like it I I like this kit even though it's I didn't realize how small it was actually going to be but I say this is for somebody that's just looking for kind of like a like a starting out kind of survival kit and you're and you just want to mess around with um kind of like upgrading something I think this would be a good beginner beginner starter for like upgrading you know survival kit for upgrading purposes and stuff but oh no i think it's not too bad of a kit it's got there's some things i would add like for example to i would i would add in a cooking pot for um boiling water i noticed in here they didn't have any anything per se for actual like water purification or anything so what i would add to this kit for that is add some water purification tablets, maybe a, a life straw of some sort. Again, a pot to cook food, boil water. Maybe one of those little um little um dry field camping stoves of some sort. Maybe one of those or a little affordable stove of some sort. But oh no. But oh no, I don't think it's a too bad of a little kit, you know. Oh, when it comes to the flashlights again, I would probably upgrade to some little bit better quality flashlights. Like like this little camping lamp one here, I'd probably just throw that one out and replace that with like a nice nicer one wake or flashlight with some pretty bright lumens and and then just keep this little kind of handy little El Cheapo one, but 
But yeah, all in all, I, I don't think it's a bad kit per se. It's just, if you're looking, if you're one of those people looking for a kit to like, just to do a simple upgrading, like if you just want to buy this and, and like do like, and make upgrades to it, you know, that would be, this would be a great one, I think for doing that. And, but the, obviously some of this stuff, what I, Recommend taking out in the wilderness and trying to out in the woods and trying to survive. No, you're there's definitely some missing. And like the um, oh, feral rod striker, what I would do there is have that, but also throw in some matches, a lighter as well, and, and have multiple ways to start a fire instead of just a little feral rod striker. If I I'm just glad that they added that. I don't know where it went to now in this pile, but oh no, I think it's great that they added a feral rod and striker. Now, I don't know a whole lot about first aid, but one thing I would probably do is add a, a tourniquet and get with somebody that knows more about first aid and, and, and simply upgrade the first aid kit to some stuff. Maybe throw in some Tylenol or aspirins of some sort in there some pain meds to help with pain or whatever, but oh no, I don't think this is was a too bad of a little kit. I think it's it's a pretty handy kit. I would also ditch these glow sticks again and and just go with like a way with flashlight. But one thing I would add to this kit too is a solar power bank, you know, to charge up the batteries as well, have a way to recharge stuff and they even make some good bright flashlights that have built-in rechargeable batteries too so that just simply you plug in your USB B cord and plug into your power bank to recharge it but I would definitely throw in a good um um quality um solar power bank little thingy and then I would also have like some sort of cell phone with GPS technology so that way if I'm lost out in the wilderness and I'm able to get some sort of satellite GPS connection to find my way back and stuff but all in all I don't think this is a very bad kit I think it's a nice kit I, I actually like it and stuff you know it'd be perfect to later on down line add and take out some stuff you know which I might do a video on later down the line I don't know but all in all I think it's a great kit I really enjoy it, thought it was cool and stuff, so, thought it was neat, so. Oh no, what do I think about this kit? I think for 50 bucks, it's not a bad little kit, it's, it's a, it's a neat little thing to, um, a neat little survival kit to look at the contents and, and see what you get and stuff, I think it's a neat little kit and, and I would, oh, I'd make a few upgrades, like the cordage and the, and the, um, knives and hatchet and, well, I would get rid of this hatchet and probably see what, go on Harbor Freight's website, see, see what more be better quality hatchet Harbor Freight has to offer. I know Harbor Freight makes a, uh, a hatchet that was pretty decent. So, and, and again, the glow sticks, I'd probably ditch those and get a better flashlight and, also replace this little flashlight. Made me kind of mad that, um, kind of, kind of, I was kind of a little bit, I guess, upsetting that they didn't give batteries with this flashlight. So if you buy this kit, I'll put the Amazon link in the description down below where you can get this kit. If you buy this kit, remember, you need to buy batteries. And then two, this, I would simply just upgrade this to an Art Tourist survival blanket. Get, get one of those Art Tourist tarp survival blankets upgrade for shelter and then this I would still keep it in there just to use simply as just like a a mylar sleeping bag and then again the cordage upgrade the cordage to 550 paracord and same with this little cordage 550 paracord and upgrade the cordage and then this little wire saw if 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 it was me I would upgrade that to a a silky pocket saw or some sort of a little bit better coin folding so because these they're not very good but oh no it's not a little i wouldn't say it's, it's not too bad of a kid i'd say 
it was a nice little gift for 50 bucks. They really, you can tell they had put some efforts into trying to build a survival kit and stuff. So we'll see if it all fits in the bag here in this backpack. And there you have it. Fits in the bag and there's actually plenty of room. I don't know if you can see that too good, but there's actually plenty of room for more stuff if you want to add a little bit more to it. Now, later on down the line, I do plan on probably upgrading this kit, upgrading some of the contents into, into it. Like I mentioned in the video, I'll do some upgrades to it probably later on down the line. For this kit and stuff but all in all i think it was a, a neat little kit for only 50 bucks is there better quality survival kits out there 100 percent yes if you're willing to spend the money but for 50 bucks i don't think it was too bad a kit i am going to be adding some stuff to this and making a few upgrades down my line one thing right off the bat is some sort of cookware in this like a cooking pot to to simply boil up water and some water purification tablets and a filter straw as well to for to gain water and then maybe some of those emergency ration bars and stuff but I may do a video on on that um if I upgrade it I may do a video on it I don't know yet but oh no I think it was a good video if you like this sort of content hit that red subscribe hit the red subscribe button down below comment your thoughts on this video if did you think this long video was a good video that video or whatever. What did you think about this survival kit? Did you think it was a good survival kit? Bad survival kit? What was your thoughts on it? Oh no, I don't think it's too bad a kit for the price. Can't go wrong. But hope you like this video. Hope you all have a good day and thank you for watching this video and subscribing to Boomhauer69's channel.